I just heard. You owe me make $15,000 a year? <laughs> what? That came out of nowhere. What are you talking about, Brittany? I just heard. That's why it came out of nowhere. <laughs> I had no idea you were that poor. Especially considering how much I thought you worked. <laughs> Where is this coming from? Where did you hear that? I knew something was wrong with you the moment I met you. You act like you're better than Dean, but you really aren't. I know you have to work night shifts, and you still barely bring in any money. I mean, 15K a year? <laughs> and you treat my husband's little brother like you're better than him? You're a joke. I don't treat my husband like I'm better than him. When have I ever done that? And who said I do that? Mikey told me you do. He also told me how you work long hours and you're always busy. Yet you make no money. <laughs> and you talk about how I don't work at all. But it seems, in reality, you don't work much at all either. You can't possibly with that tiny income. I don't know where you're getting your information, but you're completely wrong. Yeah, right. With that low of an income? <laughs> Admit it, you're poor. You'd be nothing without Dean. I can't believe he married you. Dean's the one putting food on your table, yet you act all high and mighty. Why are you suddenly looking down on me like this? And since Dean is overseas working for a while now, it seems you've gone back to live with your parents, huh? In that rundown apartment of theirs. You must be desperate. What? What apartment are you talking about? The old rundown one. The one that was built over 50 years ago. That one. <laughs> I can't believe any human would live in a place like that. You're just like your parents, though. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? And why are you bringing my parents into this? What are you on about today? I have no idea what the point of this conversation is. You're over there living with your parents who can barely make ends meet. Your whole family is pathetic. But you're poor, so do whatever you want. What is that supposed to mean? I honestly have no idea what you're talking about. Please explain this to me. I'm just making fun of that crappy little apartment of theirs, that's all. What apartment do you mean exactly? I don't want to be associated with a pathetic family like yours. And you. Working all those hours just to make that tiny amount of money. You've got to be stupid. I bet you're getting paid less than minimum wage. I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> you're making fun of me and my family and you don't even have the correct information. Do you think that's wise? And what do you expect to get out of this anyway? Making fun of me and my family like this? I have every right to make fun of a loser like you. With your pathetic income. You're just after Dean's family's money, aren't you? I'm what? That doesn't even make any sense. Does Dean's family even have any money? This is the first time I've heard of this. Dean does okay for himself. And I know Mikey makes good money. But just because our husbands are brothers, that wouldn't mean I'd get a cent of your family's money. You're not making any sense. You're just taking advantage of everyone because they're so nice. Stop treating us like you're better than us, okay? When have I ever done that? Just calm down. You've got the wrong impression of me somehow. Let's talk about all this in person. I want to get this straightened out. If there's any kind of bad blood between us, let's work this out. I don't have time to be meeting up with a poverty case like you. <laughs> get out of that old rundown apartment. You're making my family look bad. I don't know what you mean. I'm not living in a rundown apartment. I can see that it's going to take a lot of explaining to get you up to speed. The next time we see each other, I'll take the time to explain everything to you. Brittany, about that apartment you mentioned the other day. I think I know which one you mean now. Did you do something to it? Oh! <laughs> Did you notice? <laughs> I just wanted to let you know where you really stand compared to me. <laughs> I think I went a little easy on you, if I do say so myself. 
So, you're saying you were the one who spray-painted all that stuff on the apartment complex. It looks like pure hatred to me. Oh, now you're just exaggerating. <laughs> I know it may seem harsh, but you need to know how the world really works. That's just how nice of a person I am. I'm willing to teach you your true place in society. What? That's being nice? All you did was cause problems for the people who live there. And they don't even know you. Well, don't blame me for that. This is all your fault. You're the one with no education and can't live without her husband. I can't believe Dean would marry a loser like you. It seems Dean isn't nearly as smart as Mikey is when it comes to choosing women. Sometimes it surprises me that those two are brothers. It irritates me that I'm related to you now. I see you still have the wrong impression about me. I find it hard to believe that Dean didn't tell you or Mikey more about me. I know enough about you. I'm not mistaken here. <laughs> you're the one who's got everything wrong. You're the one thinking you're so great. You don't seem to know where you stand on the social ladder. Social ladder? Yeah, and poor people are at the bottom of it. <laughs> $15,000 a year. <laughs> what are you doing for work serving coffee? <laughs> you must be swimming in debt. Things must have been really hard for you before you married Dean. <laughs> you know I'm a doctor, don't you? I make over $200,000 a year. Huh? I used to make $15,000 a year when I was working part-time to help pay for medical school. But that was long ago. Where were you getting your information from? Huh? A doctor? You? Yes, me. I'm a doctor. And since it's clear you don't know, my parents are doctors too. What? Then why is your family so poor? We're not. I really don't know what to tell you. I don't know why you think we're poor. I'm a doctor and I make over $200,000 a year. I'm not poor. That's the truth. Huh? But I swear your mom told me that that apartment was theirs. Did she lie to me? I think you misunderstood what my mom told you. No, I didn't. I know she said that apartment was theirs. I just checked my chat history with her. She said it's hers. Oh, now I see what happened. I can't believe you made such a big stink over your own misunderstanding. Why do you keep saying I'm misunderstanding everything? I know I'm not wrong. I think you need to listen again. And I can't believe you spray painted that apartment out of spite for me due to your own stupidity. That apartment is my parents' apartment. But they don't rent an apartment there. They own the entire apartment complex. Huh? The building is over 50 years old, and the outside hasn't been redone yet, but it's all been redone on the inside. It's quite beautiful, if I do say so. I bought into that place with my parents, so I own a portion of it too. I did go there with my parents recently, but it was just to look around and make sure everything was fine. If you saw me there, that's probably what I was doing. But to hate me for that? There must be something wrong with you. Your parents don't live there? You and your parents own that place? You're into real estate and you're a doctor? Do you expect me to believe that? <laughs> you're lying about everything, aren't you? <laughs> Why would I lie about any of this? All this information can be easily verified if you don't believe me. So you're saying that apartment isn't where you grew up? Of course not. I've never told you I grew up there. Why would you think that? I don't know how you got that in your head. Well, I didn't know. This isn't my fault. What do you mean it's not your fault? This is 100% your fault. And speaking of your fault, let's talk about what you did to that apartment. Like I said, the people living there don't even know you. Did you think you could spray paint it with graffiti and we wouldn't say anything about it? What? What are you talking about? My mom plans on suing you to get the damages paid for. Suing me? For that? You can't be serious. Graffiti is vandalism, and it's illegal. It's gonna cost us a ton of money to get that removed. Did you think we'd just let you get away with that? And by the way, we told your husband what you did. You told Mikey? This has nothing to do with him. He couldn't believe it when we told him you did something like that. And don't try to say that you didn't. You already admitted to it. And I honestly didn't even need your confession. 
Even though the apartment is old, we have security cameras set up outside. We have you on video doing it. Once Mikey found out, he called your mom and told her what you had done. He told my mom about this? Did you really think you could do this to me and my parents and we wouldn't tell anyone? This had nothing to do with anyone else. This is between you and me. There was no reason for you to bring anyone else into this. Well, because of all this, we had a long conversation with Mikey. And he had a long conversation with your parents. You've been doing nothing but lying, haven't you? Huh? I'm surprised nobody figured it out yet. It seems you can't do anything without your husband now, can you? What the heck are you talking about? For some reason, you thought I was uneducated, so you decided to look down your nose at me. But you didn't finish college, did you? What? Who said that? It seems you've been lying to Mikey this whole time, huh? The truth is, you dropped out of college, didn't you? What? That's absurd! How dare you accuse me of that? Accuse? <laughs> facts are facts. You knew Mikey wouldn't marry you if you knew the truth. You started having too much fun off on your own in college. What? You racked up quite the debt, didn't you? You partied away all your tuition fees, didn't you? All that money that was supposed to go towards paying your tuition fees, I mean. That's one reason why you were looking to get married, isn't it? You wanted someone to pay your debts for you. You lied to Mikey about your college degree. And you kept your debt a secret from him. Isn't that right? No, that's... How do you know all this? That happened so long ago. Who cares now? That was all in the past. I love my husband. I'm a good wife. He doesn't need to know any of that. What you mean is, you've been stealing from your husband for a long time just to pay back your secret debts, right? Even now you're stealing his money. You're hiring a maid to clean the house while he's at work during the day to make him think that you're home doing the housework, right? And all the while, you're going out with your friends and partying all day, aren't you? There's no way you could know that. Who have you been talking to? If Mikey called my parents and spoke to them, I can understand how he'd know about what happened in college. But me hiring a cleaning service to clean the house? Nobody knows that. Mikey knows all about that. You hire a cleaning service. And you pay with a credit card. Mikey said he has been wondering where all his money has been going and why you insist on handling all the bills and banking for him. But recently, he decided to check the bank and credit card statements himself. He did? You weren't hiding things too well, were you? Did you just assume he'd never check for himself? Dean had a long talk with his brother about you because of this incident with the spray paint. That's why we all know what's going on with you now. He did? How is that possible? Both of our husbands are overseas working on projects in different countries. That doesn't mean they can't get in touch with each other. <laughs> Mikey said he's going to have a long talk with you when he comes back from working on his project. It sounds like you're not going to like what he has to say. He said that? What's going to happen? Why is this all happening at once? It seems Mikey was willing to put up with you wasting his money. But now that you're committing crimes, dragging him into lawsuits, and lying to him on top of all that, I think he's had all he can stand of you. Things weren't supposed to happen like this. It was supposed to be an innocent prank between just the two of us. And now all this? Vandalizing an apartment building is an innocent prank? All because you jumped to conclusions and thought you were better than me, huh? It seems you're the stupid one here, aren't you? Things weren't supposed to go this far. I'm not a bad person. Whether you thought it was a big problem or not, you still spray painted terrible things onto someone else's property. That's vandalism. I don't know why you didn't think you'd get in trouble for it. You spray painted a building because you hate me. How are you not a bad person? I didn't think it would be such a big deal. And I certainly didn't think it would cause all this. Well, it did. The only question is, what are you going to do after this? Huh? After this? I mean, after your husband kicks you to the curb, what are you going to do then? You're a college dropout. You've never worked a day in your life. You have no work experience, no income, and you're in your early 30s. How are you going to support yourself? Mikey's not going to divorce me. He knows what you did. He knows you lied to him from the start. And he knows you've been stealing his money and lying to him about it this whole time. But it's been like that since I married him. 
Nothing is going to change. Why would he divorce me now if it wasn't an issue before? The money was one thing, but he didn't know about all the lies before. And this incident with the graffiti shows exactly what kind of person you really are. I don't know exactly what he plans to do, but I know that neither Dean nor I will ever be speaking to you again. All I know is, you'd better hope Mikey loves you enough to forgive you for all of this, and to pay for the lawsuit my parents are taking out against you for damages to their apartment complex. Brittany's husband found out about everything she had done over the years. He even went back into his banking history and saw what she had been doing with his money. Needless to say, he decided to divorce her immediately. As for my side, my parents reported her crime to the police and sued her for damages to the apartment complex. I heard that after all of this, Brittany had nowhere to go. After her husband kicked her out, she tried moving back in with her parents. But she hadn't had a good relationship with them ever since she squandered all the money they gave for tuition and dropped out of college. Hearing about how she had treated her husband and what she did to my parents' apartment complex seemed to be the final straw. They refused to help her out and told her they wanted nothing to do with her anymore. She had no choice but to take what little money she had and find a tiny little apartment to live in. Now, with bills to pay and no income, she had to get a part-time job serving coffee at a donut shop. With nobody supporting her now and her struggling to stay afloat on her own, I think she's finally learning the value of a dollar. Maybe if she had learned that lesson years ago, she wouldn't be in the situation she is now. Thanks for watching! If you like this video, please press the like button. See you next time!